hard work and dedication pays off for a Cincinnati girl. Nearly two years after writing to the Cincinnati mayor about safety in her community, Madeline Gerker got her wish. She wanted a sidewalk on her street after feeling unsafe while walking home from school. That's her street right there. Nine on your side's Pat LaFleur looks at how she finally convinced, convinced city politicians to act. Sands Montessori sixth grader Madeline Gerker was only in second grade when she first asked her mom a simple question. We were walking to school and I asked my mom why, why do we not have a sidewalk and then she said I don't know. Two years later in 2018 she posed that same question to Mayor John Cranley and City Council in the form of a handwritten letter. Dear Mayor Cranley and City Council, I am writing to you because we need a sidewalk. Now it all comes down to one last vote here at Cincinnati City Council Chambers where council will officially accept a $400,000 grant from the Ohio Department of Transportation. That Safe Routes to School grant didn't come automatically. It required that the district update its plan for pedestrian safety around schools, and that took time. It makes me really frustrated that the city didn't like doesn't keep updating it because without that then people wouldn't be able to walk to school safely. It takes way too long to get a sidewalk. In the meantime, Madeline has stayed busy. Along with fellow CPS student Jeremiah J.T. Thornton, she formed a Youth Pedestrian Safety Task Force after 2018 saw 13 CPS students hit walking to or from school. I was like, wow, people that I've known and people, people that are my peers, they're getting hit by cars. JT made headlines last year with his award-winning rap video promoting pedestrian safety. But still, since the grant money won't be available until 2021, the sidewalk won't arrive until after Madeline graduates from Sands. And yet, she remains positive. I'm really happy because that means um, I might not be able to use it, but I, but other future generations will be able to. In Mount Washington, Pat LaFleur, 9 on your side.